types of test data and in this video we're going to look at volume simulated and live test data so firstly we need to understand what test data is and essentially we need to test systems and make sure that they're working correctly so in order to do this we enter test data into the system test data may involve intentionally entering in data that we know is going to cause the system to error and in doing so we see how the system responds to the specific errors so we need to obviously do use a variety of test data to ensure that the system is working from all aspects and also test to see if the system is capable of dealing with all kinds of situations that can either lead to errors or cause the system to crash. So we're going to look at types of test data that includes simulated, live data and volume data tests. Simulated data tests uh, use data that is expected to be entered into the system. Uh, it is kind of established through the actual project team and they enter in different types of data that they expect the system to get. This data is usually in the same format as data that will be used by the information system, just checking that the system is able to process the expected data correctly. In saying this, this is where the system may also choose to enter in different types of data that may be unexpected for the system in order to see how the system responds, i.e. is it going to have an error, is it going to crash. For anyone who's done any type of programming, if a system is expecting the, a number and you put in the letter A, the system is going to crash and you need to have something programmed into it so the system is capable of responding to that without crashing and it may be a message or a verification method. So basically what simulated data tests are doing is looking for both expected and unexpected outcomes in relation to the entered data. So let's say this is our information system. Primarily, simulated data tests will be run by the project team as they're developing the system. And while they're um, developing it, they're testing using their data. It can be data that we think is going to go into the system as well as unexpected data methods, and they're documenting how the system is responding. The next type we're going to look at is live data testing. And in this scenario, we're entering in live real-world data that the system is likely going to be taking. The data in this case would be supplied by participants in order to assess that the appropriate information is being output by the information system. So whether it is the participant uh, entering it in directly into the system or maybe supplying it to the project team so they can enter it into the system, we're using real world data of expected data outcomes in ensuring that the system is capable of doing what it has been developed to do. Often companies send out beta versions of the system in order to test online components of the information system so that they can see that any potential errors when the system is both online and being used by multiple customers who may enter in unpredicted data. This helps test the information system to see how it responds to unforeseen circumstances that the users may present. Okay, so we're giving the system real data in this situation, okay, and this real data, if it is being sent out in a beta version to online users, could also give real errors, okay, them from the user end entering in errors, and we're seeing how the system responds from there. So, if we're going to look at how live data would look like in a scenario, once again, we've got the system, and we'd have the project team aiding with the entering in of data and still working on it at this stage. But essentially the difference here is the participant is involved as well, okay, and they're supplying the live data to the system. And together they are entering data into the system and seeing once again how the system responds to the live data being entered into the system and documenting its outcomes. The final data we're going to look at here is volume data, and this is a form of testing that involves assessing the capacity of data the system can handle. This may be seeing how many users can access the system at a single time. For example, in the gaming industry, developers release these online beta versions, and um, they get everyone to go on and try out these beta versions for free, and we see how the online components of the game works with all multiple users accessing the system at once. Will it crash? Will it lag? Will it slow down? And obviously they have to make changes on their end to manage this. This volume data test uh, aids the developers as they're checking, okay, and seeing how well the online system is working. And then uh, essentially it can only be done with multiple users accessing it at the same time. In saying this though, we look at volume from a few different angles and we'll look at that through a few different diagrams. The first one being is just pumping the system with data. So here's our information system and here's our project team. And they may just be them on their own at first, smashing the system with data, okay? And entering in lots and lots and lots of data, okay? And seeing how the system responds, okay? Does it slow down? Does it crash? Can it process the data in a timely manner? 
the other aspect which more alludes to the scenario we're just talking about is when we have the system but then we have multiple users accessing the system at the same time so checking out online parts uh, of the system okay when the system is online and then all of them entering their data from multiple different devices from multiple locations different types of data all being entered into the system at once and seeing how well the system copes with handling the amount of data that's being entered into it okay and the capacity of data it can take so i hope this video has given you a good understanding of test data and essentially the three different types of test data we talk about in this course simulated data which is supplied by the project team in order to assess expected data that would go into the system but also see unexpected outcomes that can come in as well when entering it into the system then live data which is real world data supplied by the participant ensuring that the system can actually complete tasks using real world data and responds to them correctly and volume data test checking the capacity of data the system can take whether it be a lot of data from one user or one participant or lots of data coming from multiple users